YouTube tag sale finds here. Uh, we went to three thrift, thrift stores. stores. Three thrift stores today. Um, we started pretty early today and just got done about 15 minutes ago. It's right around 8 o'clock now. Um, we went to eat first at Arby's. Someone ate two Arby, two junior Arby's uh, cheese stick. And had to get a. He promised me. He giant promised slush. me too. So, after all that, we now have our slush in hand, and we're going to show you some of the things we bought today. One of the first things we stopped at, uh, first Goodwill, we bought three jackets. The first one is supposed to be an adult's, but it looks like a kid's. It's a medium <laughs> Nike basketball jacket. Uh, has a little pocket on the side of the sleeve right here uh, for an mp3 player that way if you're jogging wherever you can have it next jacket we bought is a Columbia size 1820 uh, this is like a windbreaker slash rain jacket it actually has a little hood on top that you can stuff away so you can you know put it hide it if you don't want it out right away um, pretty good shape. Uh, we paid three dollars for this. Uh, there's a little wear on the sleeve, but other, overall the jacket itself is in yeah. fine condition. You want to show the name tag? I don't know the name. She wants to show you inside. It has a name tag, so you can put your name and your phone number in case you ever do lose your jacket. The next one we have is a multicolored, kind of funky. But, you know, these things definitely sell well. It's another Columbia-type windbreaker jacket. This is a 100% nylon radio sleeve. Large jacket. Uh, one of the last thrift stores we went to actually had a rack sitting outside um, between the doors that had everything's a dollar for clothes and jackets were half off. Um, but as we picked up a few jackets, we were kind of... Uh, hesitant to buy one of the workers come by and said everything's a dollar jackets are included so the first thing we bought was a kids size 6 American Eagle button-up um, somebody wants it as you can tell so we'll have to see kind of big right now but maybe she'll grow into it I wear sevens to eight yeah but that's a big shirt <clears throat> the next jacket we bought is an American Eagle ladies three-quarter link jacket uh, this originally there, we found this probably two months ago and almost bought it. It was originally $25. This was part of the dollar sale today. So we picked it up. Inside has some small spotting, um, but the outside of the jacket's in great shape. Um, not sure if this is going to be something we keep for mom or if this is something we are going to sell, but we'll have to see. Next is a men's leather jacket. Um, really good shape. Made by Savannah. It's a medium. This was originally $20 uh, at the thrift store. But th this thing actually looks like it's never been worn. I'm not sure if... I know they do get some donations from stores sometimes. So I'm not sure if this is something that was donated by a store. And nobody just ever was looking for a jacket. But definitely for a dollar can't pass it up the next is a denim jacket by webs jeans it's an extra large it's all denim with red stitching uh, these on eBay bring right around ten dollars they had it marked in the store as new for 15 so paid a dollar for that as well two more jackets the next one is a old navy uh, this is a extra large, just a windbreaker, nice jacket. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, there it is. Tags all still there. It looks like the actual real tag was still on, but they just ripped it off and then stuck their tag on it. But $5 is what they wanted, but again, this is part of the dollar sale. And the last one looks kind of like the American Eagle jacket, but this is by St. John's Bay. It is a medium.
just want another warm jacket to have around. Uh, this one most likely is going to be sold on eBay. Uh, probably expecting about ten to fifteen dollars for that. Now on to the actual stuff we bought. One of the first stores we went to, I found this item and I walked by it two or three times. I was hesitant to buy it, but as we were leaving, I had to go back and pick it up. It's extremely heavy uh, for being a chunk of wood, but it is a carved lion. Um, it kind of looks from the front when you first see it like an evil dog, but as you can tell from the side, it's supposed to be a lion. Uh, there's no markings on it as to who made it or where it's from, but I expect that to go anywhere from $19.99 to $29.99 on eBay. Uh, we end up paying $4.99 for this. Next, if anybody's familiar with the kids, this is a Dub Edition 2003 Chevy Suburban. Now, these things get extremely detailed. Um, they don't go as far as inside under the hoods and things like that, but there's definitely some chroming. Uh, they color, you know, everything in there is blue with chrome. You can see that, I mean, the camera's pretty bad right now. Um, I'm recording from my laptop, but I will have my camera the next time we record. But it has the disc brakes. It has spinning wheels, so when the wheels stop, the rims are spinning. The inside, they have a PlayStation 2 with the controllers. Um, but really neat. These things originally were about $25 to $30. They're very heavy. They're all die cast. Uh, this is a 1 18th scale model. Um, so definitely something, if you guys see these around for... Anywhere under $5, you definitely can double to triple your money easily with these. This has writing on the bottom of it. Next is a book. Uh, this is something we're going to keep for now. It is The Art of Optical Illusion, voted best book for young adults of 2001. But it's just a book of a ton of different optical illusions. Uh, it tells you about them, different artists that over time have made some. Um, definitely need to look at every now and then. So this will be sticking around for a while uh, until we get our fair use out of it. Next, if you guys see any of these or know about these, these are tumbler glasses by the Tumblr company. Uh, these are lifetime guarantee, dishwasher safe. If you crack these yourself, drop them, break them, step on them, run them over with your car. Uh, these are lifetime. They, they will replace them with no questions asked. They sell these at like Bed Bath and Beyond and things like that. Um, they're pretty expensive though. For the NFL teams and things like that, they can range anywhere from $14.99 to $29.99. This, if you can tell, it's a smaller version. These are about $7.99 to $14.99. Um, pine trees. But the reason I buy these is when you do replace these, you don't necessarily have to have the same one you originally had so I can trade the scent eventually for another sports team that I want um, but I'll definitely be keeping this next is a giant coffee mug of M&M's this is from the M&M World Store it is all golf related um, somebody winning the championship has their trophy and everything on it um, Paid 99 cents for that. Originally, you can tell on the box, it says Jumbo Coffee Course Mug M&M World, $10. So, for a dollar, um, I'll take a shot at that. Next is a big register. Uh, you don't see these too often in houses around here. Um, 49 cents, though. Can't beat it. Originally priced at $23.19. Uh, expecting anywhere from five to ten dollars on this. Um, may try selling it locally on Craigslist or something. Somebody looking to remodel just needs a new one. Uh, definitely good shape for registers. Next, two Nintendo DS cases. Um, the one inside just has a small pouch for your games up top, and then a little small slit that holds the DS in place. That is a Pokemon Platinum version. This was a dollar. And the next one was 80 cents. It is the Nintendo Dogs. Light blue. Inside has a plastic sleeve that the Nintendo DS can sit in. Uh, you can actually just play it within the case so you don't have to take it out. 
something for the kids just to keep their stuff in that way it doesn't get broke too easy. Uh, both of these will be for sale though. Uh, they'll be going on eBay very shortly here. The next item we have is a Bacardi advertisement. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's C O C O at the bottom, but it's you can see I'm yeah I'm not exactly sure, but I don't know if this was a candle holder with the tea light, um, just to light up to display, or what this was actually used for. Maybe a small sample bottle was in there, but for 50 cents couldn't pass that up. Also have a Bacardi football glass for 50 cents. These were out of the sets, little gift sets when you buy the Bacardi. Um, but you can't pass that up for 50 cents. Next, a set of four again of the tumblers. Um, like I said, definitely buy these if you find them. You can replace these of any type you want. Um, definitely worth looking out for. We also have a, it's a little late, but Mickey Mouse Christmas tie. It's from the Disney store. I may try putting this on eBay just to see if anyone tries to snag it right now. If not, it'll be you know, sitting around for next year. So, we'll see how that does. Next, paperwork. It says, no job is finished until the paperwork is done. Coffee mug. This is from 1985. So, definitely a nice mug that's lasted. Um, there's no, like, swirl marks in the bottom. Not that you can really tell from this camera, but no swirl marks from spoon circling or anything. So definitely in great shape. Next we have a Cars 2 iPad uh, compatible little item. You are supposed to hold the car on the iPad and it's interactive to where you can move the car back and forth, uh, play different games, explore. But the app's free, so I figured for $4 I'll give it a shot, uh, keep us occupied for a little bit. Next is a set of Old Thompson Carbon Steel Salt and Pepper Shakers. Uh, it's a salt shaker with a pepper grinder. These retail, I believe, right around $24.99. Um, but I expect to get anywhere from $8 to $10 for the set. Next, for helping all day, someone picked up 8,500 beads. As you can tell, my vacuum cleaner is probably going to hate me after a while. But is what you do is you take the little design that they have set in here for you. Hearts, horses, or heart, pony. And you just iron them on with a piece of paper and they kind of melt together. Which you can create keychains, necklaces, different little things that she can make and give away to people. This next item, I'm not sure exactly what... If it's original or if they this was recently made, um, but it is a Baltimore Colts tray, um, not candy tray or anything like that. But if this is original from 60s, 70s, something like that, these things can bring right around 75 to 250 dollars. If this is a newer piece, um, expect anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars for it. One of the last things we picked up is this Slate Welcome Set. Uh, it has a leather strap, very well made, um, just all etched, all in detail. Um, pretty nice sign. We actually paid a dollar for this. And the Colts plate uh, was at the same store, was not priced. We actually paid 75 cents for that, so I'm hoping for that to turn out pretty good. This is our last item. Our last item is... Rock'em Stock'em Robots. Uh, this is the 2000 and 2001 version, uh, but we only paid three dollars for this. I'm gonna use this for a while and kick someone's rear end on it for a while, uh -uh. and then we may possibly sell this. Um, don't expect to get very much out of it, being that it's a new version. I didn't even look when we bought it; just threw it in the cart for uh, fun. But that was the. Last thing we bought today, uh, we'll definitely be having more coming videos soon. coming and more thrift store finds coming soon. That'll so, be on Saturday. On Saturday. But probably yeah, not this Saturday. Saturday. We got one more visit for Christmas, huh? Yay, because I don't like to go anywhere on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, like, ask questions below. Um, we're definitely looking forward to answering any questions you guys may have.